my head is hurting me. You are sick too, right? Yeah, right? no, it's just these headaches that stay after the thing. Frank, what is I it? can't believe three people in group were sick. What is it you don't want to see at the moment? What don't you want to know? Are you talking to me, Doc? No, Frank. I think it's about a a need for connection and love, and and I just uh, just some days I'm just it's like a desert, you know. That's true. So. I mean, there are certain aspects that are good, you know, not having quite as much outside stimulus, although I do have a little special outside stimulus, it's not bad for our family, you know. If you can put that energy back into the family, arguably, but... I know, I know, I just, I just don't want to. Frank, in this discussion, yeah. what, what do you want from the group? Uh, I hate it when you ask that. Because? Because I've just, I regress. I'm like a little kid. I just want the group to love me and, and accept me and not, and yeah, yeah, no, I do want the groups. I value your feedback and I know that you're right. And I guess that's the reason I told you is because I know I'm putting myself at risk and I, and I told you people because I can talk to you. Well, Frank, if I can just say, I, I mean, I think, I have this like great desire to fuck up right now. You know yeah. what I mean? No, yeah. really, like yeah. really desperate because there's so many fucking rules and like I'm with my sister and, and what are you allowed to do outside and someone walks by you with a mask and you have to cross the street really fast or without a mask and there are all these rules and all I want to do is like go to one of these bars where all the idiots are hanging out <laughs> and just like drink and like buy a pack of cigarettes, which I fucking haven't smoked in 10 years. Like, so I understand why you want to fuck up. Because, you know, we're feeling claustrophobic right now. And so we, we are. And rules. we truly yeah. are. I mean, let's be real, Manny. I mean, we're guilty of the same shit. I mean, the one thing that has kept me going, I mean, look, I'm not married, but it is another transgression, another rule. It, uh, you know, I, I feel so lonely. And the only thing that is getting me through this miserable time with our country and the world fucking falling apart is, you know, the, the, the possibility of, of, of an escape, which is what I get in the form of a text every now and then um, from Manny. And um, so I'm sorry, but I am from... desperate for, for connection, and Manny is my only connection. Tell me I'll something, Pam. Did, did yes. it occur to you that if you were lonely that you could call me? Why aren't I a fixture in your mind who you could turn to when something is uh, overwhelmingly troublesome to you? The, the need that Manny is feeling for me is a very different need than the one that you feel for me, Doc. Well, that, that's uh, probably true. In some way, Manny is much more gratifying than I might ever be. But we don't know that until you try it. Are you asking, are you saying that I'm allowed to flirt with you, Doc? Over text? Uh, I'm saying that if you have a wish to flirt with me over text, that'd be a great thing to tell me. You can flirt with me. <laughs> I guess I feel frustrated when, uh, you know, Doc is saying, look, look, we had a month or whatever it was where the things fell apart, but now it's rules as normal because I'm not ready to go back to rules as normal because the world isn't rules as normal yet. The rule right, the world we're is still so in fucked it. up. And I'm sorry, but Manny is my lifeline right now. And that's... Manny um, is your lifeline. You're absolutely yes. right. Right, but I'd like you to exercise that lifeline in here. And, and look, we are. It is thrilling. I get to see his face. Great, but more than looking at his face, I'd like you and Manny to see if you can put into language here what you've been doing outside of here on texting. Bring that energy in here. Have your relationship in front of these people and let's see what happens. You, you want us to read the, the text messages aloud, Doc? No, I want you to say out loud anything you might think of saying in a text message to Pam while you're sitting here in the room. Because I can guarantee you, while you're sitting here in the room, you're having lots of thoughts about Pam, just as Pam is having lots of thoughts about you. So the challenge is to take those 
passing thoughts and give life to them, put, put words to them. But they're so complicated. Yeah. I mean, it's so... You, since when did you mind complication? It's rich. It's since, rich, Pam. Since when did, you, when did you mind uh, things that are complicated, Pam? It's my whole fucking life. Thank God he who shall not be named is no longer in group, huh? That motherfucker always looked down on us, always thought he was better than this group, and we were his project. That's where, that's where you fucked up, Doc, because we that's were like right. a zoo that he got to hang out that's at. That's right. And I'm thrilled he's not here. Well, that's, and, that's, and that's, that's, why, hold, hold, and, Karina, hold and on Ezra, a second. Karina, hold on a second. Why did you Karina, hold on a second. somebody to observe Karina, that? hold on a second. Manny was talking to me. Sorry. Manny, you're angry with me. I'm not actually, ang honestly, I'm not even mad at you right now. Well, why not? I brought well, him what in What I'm here. actually pissed about, I just want to be honest, is that I felt like there was a thing about to happen with Pam and I, and then I feel like this is really uncomfortable, but Pam kind of pushed it to Henry, and so I'm feeling jealous and insecure about what it is and why she couldn't say it. Well, that's wonderful. I mean, I don't need her to say it in the room, but I just was like, that's like the most, I felt like a kid on Christmas morning, like just waiting to hear her say something to me. And I feel really emotional right now. And then she like moved to Henry and I can't stand that guy. And I just went. Manny, stay, stay with it. Can you, okay. can you look at Pam and tell her that, that you felt jealous, that you felt hurt, that she dropped you, she moved away from you too soon. Can you tell her that directly? I'm scared to do that because I feel that if I am submissive or like not in my strength, that that is going to make her, I feel insecure in my relationship with Pam. And so I, well, that's fine, but uh, why not embrace that? Okay. Well, I was really jealous that really I'd sucked. I wanted that moment. I'm desperate for that moment and to see you and see like how beautiful you look and how striking you are, I just wanted you to look me in the eyes and say something nice. Well, I really did. Part of me was so pissed when you left because I felt like things were heating up and I thought maybe, you know, this would be a time when we would have an excuse to get to, I don't know, be in a bubble together and see what that was like. But I also feel like you're such a mensch. He's such a mensch. So what are you feeling toward Manny at the moment? I mean, it's hard for me to even look at him. Why? Because it's not, I can't tell, I, I, the whole world feels so surreal that I can't tell what's real and what's not. I mean, he is a pure escape for me. And I don't even know if it's the idea of him or if it's or if it's him but pam you love him oh i mean that's that seems like an intense thing to say you're not in love with each other no i'm in love with her that is 100% clear i love you she's in I'm love with you too with you. she just can't say it she's yeah but that's hard you know i know to be the one who is more direct because I'd get in the car right now and drive to New York. I don't fucking care. I would, in a heartbeat. But I promise you that by the time I got to Kansas, she would text me and say it was too dangerous. And so that's why I haven't done it. It's true. What's happening right now, Pam? I mean, of course, I feel it. I feel my heart beating fast. I feel it in my loins. I feel it, like, everywhere. But I also feel, like, panic in my head of, like, what are you getting into? Like, these are... I think I do this where I have an idea of somebody and I don't know. I mean, it's it's so much easier to fall into deep feelings for somebody when they are across the country and you can just sort of make up your own story about them. You know, I, I don't I don't I don't know Manny. I mean, of course, I know him so well here, but this is such a strange bubble. And I think the idea of of like actually starting something with him, it's. Is it maybe because it, it, it feels like out of control or out of your control? Yeah, maybe. I can see myself already starting to shut down a bit. 
it's intense. It's really intense. And I don't feel like I have clarity on anything. I don't have clarity on anything. So what the fuck am I doing? You know, I would never want to be responsible for him driving across the country, leaving his, his sister and his nephew but in you a horrible wouldn't. position. You're not That's, responsible he wanted for that. to do it. That's something he brought up. Yeah. That's wants my to... choice. I'm a, I'm a grown ass man. Like I can do that. But, but <laughs> like it's fine. Is, it's his ass pressure, is grown. Right? You can understand how that <laughs> no. would be pressure. No, I it's mean, not pressure. I do, I, I do get I where parents come anything. from. I would love it, obviously, but yes. then, but then there are repercussions. I mean, it's like what he's, <laughs> yes. he's saying. So, I guess that's that's a test of love, though, right? Like, yeah. lo love shouldn't be in spite of something. It should, I don't know. Then, then he comes because he loves you, and and he's not gonna put pressure. On, you know what I mean? Then he's not gonna judge you if you don't kiss him or you don't do this or do that. He's just gonna. Fucking love you in whatever way you'll let him love you. It might be, I don't know.